I have tried recording this three times. The first time I accidentally lost the original file. Second time I only got video of what I was doing and no audio. So, hey, let's try to make this quick because I was in a really cheery mood and I was very happy when recording them. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, let's get this going. <laughs> um, I I'm not dead. Uh, channel wise not not in real life either but uh the channel's not dead i'm still making content i'm currently editing content for it even uh but just to make it clear i am just in a mental block right now uh among other issues uh i haven't recorded any new unlucky ones past probably episode six maybe so you'll get up to then, and then we'll be on a big break. Other than the big break we're already on, but it's not like we have any fans. Uh, unless you're watching this and you are a fan, then hey. But um, we are in, due, so, due to some real life things, we are on a bit of a break. Uh, two of the members of the Unlucky Ones group are uh, unavailable um, for different reasons. Uh, I would be really happy if everyone could come back. Uh, I know in the videos it may seem like we fight a lot, but we do. But, um, I do enjoy these guys. They, they are a lot of fun. They're very weird. They're very different. And I've put so much work into creating this overall story for them. I'm so excited. I want to continue on because I even have this whole end goal that I want us to get to. Um, but yeah, I... I really want everyone to come back whenever we can. For the moment, uh, we're on pause. So, around December 4th, you'll be getting just a complete like, blowout of all of our stuff. I'll be putting out everything we have among new stuff. I'm going to be recording some stuff with my friend JD. You may know him as Jimmy Dango on The Unlucky Ones. Or if you're coming from his channel over to mine, then you already know him as Gizmoworks. Uh, or JD over there, where me and him record a podcast called uh, Crapshoot, where he hosts and I co-host. A place where I get to be active and not have to do any work. An ideal society. Um, I'm, I'm not super busy, but I do have a lot going on in my life, and I'm just very tired. So that's a big reason why a lot of stuff isn't being put out. Very soon, though, before Halloween, I am going to be putting out two episodes of the uh, Celluloid Slaughter, which focus on Halloween. I would have loved to do an Unlucky Ones episode around Halloween, but, uh, you know, things came up and such, so yeah. Uh, two other things. Me and JD are working on a project, uh, which I cannot tell you, because I do want to just spring it on everyone. Uh, it, it's not going to be on the James No Last Name channel as it is not very much what I'm doing on there, you know? It's not a, uh, a podcast, which is where I kind of want to keep that stuff, podcasts and other uh, projects like it, those. Uh, so I'm going to be making a second channel for it, which I do not know the name of yet, but when I do, I will update you all. But, um... I can tell you about the fourth project, which is something I'm working on. I'm currently writing it. It is called uh, Just Another Day in Paradise, or maybe it's going to be called Another Day in Paradise. It is a sci-fi audio drama, which is heavily inspired by a uh, podcast I've been listening to recently that's really changed my perspective on everything we're, we're making. Uh, it's called The Orphans. It's an incredible podcast, which I absolutely recommend anyone else listen to. Uh, I can't get enough of it, and I cannot wait for a new season of it to come out. If it ever does, I really hope it does, because uh, it's it's great. It's got a bunch of British voice actors, which are amazing to listen to. They're really funny during uh, the Wild Space season with, with their uh, one-off jokes every now and then. And they just tell a really good story that I cannot help but love and just listen to. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit too much of a fan, as this podcast I've written is inspired super heavily to the point that I'm even kind of uh, taking a couple things from their universe, putting in mine just so I can like better shape it out and everything. Uh, I'm not, I'm not directed 
Like, I'm not related to them in any way. I'm not part of their crew or anything. This is something I'm doing all on my own. Uh, that they've inspired me. I, I have no affiliations with them. I would love, I mean, Jesus Christ, I would love to be working on their podcasts. I mean, it, uh, it's, it's so much fun to listen to. And I'm, I'm re-listening to every season currently while uh, writing Another Day in Paradise. Another Day in Paradise is a story that follows a uh, space technician named Scott Everest. Scott is spelled with one T and Everest is spelled normally. I'm going to get a uh, illustration of him drawn by the same artist who's been doing all of our D&D illustration. Uh, Lorefy, or uh, yeah, Lor, L-O-A-R-F-Y on Twitter. He has done so much art for us, uh, for the Unlucky Ones. It is so amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to see some of the stuff he's drawn. Some of it is super beautiful. I love the character designs he's come up with. And I cannot wait to get him to uh, help out with the uh, shit <laughs> with Another Day in Paradise. Uh, I'm going to just ask him to do general designs for characters, uh, specific ones, of course. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for you all to find and see all these and just enjoy them as much as I have. We are not dead. We are working on a lot of stuff. And I'm going to be putting out a lot of stuff soon. It may take just a little bit, but we are. I'm currently editing a uh, episode of The Unlucky Ones, which I'm going to put out, and then I'm going to smash out the uh, two episodes of Celluloid Slaughter. I'll get those uploaded onto Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And uh, then maybe I'll put out some uh, stuff on my Instagram and Twitter, which you guys should definitely go check out. I will also link uh, JD's channel in the description as I'm talking about it, and I don't want to be like an asshole and just not do it, because he puts my video... I mean, he puts my channel in the description of his videos, which is very nice of him. He never has to, but he does because he's cool like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I cannot wait for you all to, you know, just for you to just enjoy what I've got. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all for listening and uh, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Be good people. Goodbye.